is screaming architecture so what does your system architecture screams when you look at its top down structure do you find it is screaming the domain or function for which it is designed say healthcare management system inventory management or accounting system or does it scream spring hibernate ex frameworks ex technology ex methodology and so on what does it scream when you look at it that's the idea in robert martin's mind when he shared it separately in a chapter of his book clean architecture where he writes that when we look at the building be it some residential home or some public structure like library hospital or school the moment we see the building we can recognize the purpose of the building only by looking at its architecture so a good architecture is one that screams about its intent and purpose clearly to everyone and if you apply that into the software design then we can say that the software architecture should also be clear and well designed that it conveys its its purpose and intent and function clearly to every single viewer or stakeholder out there technical or non technical both according to robert martin a good architecture should be easy to understand modular and loosely coupled with clear boundaries between different components or modules the architecture should also be designed to be independent of any specific technology or implementation details and should be flexible and adaptable to changing requirements any arts the developers out there what does the architecture of your application scream when you look at the top level directory structure and the source files in the highest level package do they scream healthcare system or accounting system or inventory management system or do they scream rails spring hibernate asp and all architectures are not about frameworks architecture should not be supplied by the frameworks frameworks are tools to be used not architectures to be conformed to so a good architecture as he perfectly puts are centered on use cases so that architects can safely describe the structures that support those use cases without committing to frameworks tools and environments like the plan for a house the first concern of an architect is to make the house usable not to ensure that the house is made of bricks indeed he takes pain to ensure that the home owner can make those decisions about the exterior material later be it bricks stone or whatever so a good architecture allows decisions about frameworks databases web servers and other environmental issues and tools to be deferred and delayed as frameworks are options to be left open with a good architecture whether you are using going to use rails or spring or hibernate tomcat or mysql that you can decide later in the project the architecture is not going to be affected by those decisions that's the key point that robert martin is trying to make here so in a nutshell a screaming architecture is one that screams about its intent and purpose and a good architecture should tell the readers about the system not about the frameworks that you are going to use the idea is that the architecture that we build are clear well designed and easy to maintain and modify over time and they should have the flexibility to adapt to changing requirements